It seems like everywhere you go, you can always spot a McDonald's. There are 36,000 stores on every continent, except for Antarctica. In South America alone, there are 1,400 locations. But there is one Latin American country that flat out rejected Big Macs and McNuggets, Bolivia. In 1985, Bolivia experienced the most severe economic crisis in its history. By 1986, hyperinflation drove up prices over 11,000%. So Bolivia decided to do something drastic. The country adopted a neoliberal economic policy, which included throwing its doors open for foreign investors. By the mid-90s, international companies began to flood the market, which ultimately played a role in helping rev up Bolivia's economy. On average, the economy grew 4% between 1985 and 1997. That's when McDonald's entered Bolivia. The first Bolivian location opened its doors to the public in 1997 in the city of La Paz. And it was met with a lot of hype. It was a huge social event, no? Uh, you had to go there with your friends, you had to go there with your family, and, and people were willing to, to spend significant amount of time there in line just to, to get there and, and try. And, uh, it was interesting because it was a, a huge line of uh, people standing, and then the, the drive throughs there were also like a, a huge line and uh, interrupting all the traffic on the street, and then having to go into the side roads and things like that. So it, it, was, uh, it was extraordinary to see. By 1999, the American fast food chain had six stores in the country. Its menu was tailored to reflect Bolivian taste buds. McDonald's offered things like yawa, a Bolivian hot sauce that was made of tomatoes and hot chili peppers. McDonald's even tried to introduce the mixed saltanas, which was a spin on the traditional Bolivian dish known as saltanas. The saltanas are traditional Bolivian empanadas that can either be filled with savory or sweet foods, but it ultimately did not reach the Bolivian market due to McDonald's safety standards. But despite McDonald's initial interest from the Bolivian people, lines for McDonald's grew smaller and smaller. By 2002, McDonald's operation in Bolivia expanded to Santa Cruz and Cochabamba in an effort to reach the country's middle class consumers. But that effort to appeal to Bolivia's middle class failed to shore up sales. In 2002, the American fast food chain shuttered all of its eight stores in Bolivia. It, uh, it specifically went after the most uh, affluent group. No, so to say, say it was uh, it was an affluent neighborhood in the south side of La Paz. It was uh, in downtown La Paz, so it it didn't go really into the areas that are more uh, were more indigenous. Probably that was a second step, but the the, the first step of, of entering Bolivia was uh, was in the uh, re really to appeal to the more affluent people who had, I think, some type of, of exposure to McDonald's before. The former vice president of McDonald's South America said that we were having losses in the Bolivian market for several years in a row, and initial investments were not breaking even. In the same year McDonald's exited Bolivia, McDonald's also closed 700 stores down in nine other countries. So from what I understand, McDonald's closed restaurants in Bolivia because they were underperforming relative to uh, other places. So why did McDonald's fail in Bolivia? Well, it's partly to do with the deep cultural rejection from Bolivia and its government. Although President Evo Morales was elected after McDonald's exit, his attitudes towards globalism reflected a long-held national sentiment. Back in February of 2013, President Morales said this in a speech to the UN. The fast food of the West is doing a great deal of harm to humankind. And the major multinational food companies seek to control the production of food and to dominate global markets by imposing their customs and foods. The president even banned an American staple in Bolivia, Coca-Cola. In 2012, Bolivia's president and the country's Minister of External Affairs announced the expulsion of Coca-Cola in Bolivia in favor of a traditional Bolivian drink. But it wasn't just politics that led to McDonald's demise. Bolivia's economy also played a role. Bolivia is one of South America's poorest countries. In 1997, when McDonald's first entered Bolivia, 63% of Bolivians lived in conditions of poverty and 38% lived in extreme poverty. By the time McDonald's pulled out in 2002, the number grew to 65% of Bolivians living in poverty and 40% living in extreme poverty. In 2002, the average Bolivian monthly income was about 622 Bolivianos. That converts to just over $83 a month. So, McDonald's was actually a relatively expensive food option for Bolivians, especially if they wanted to grab a quick meal. Uh, in, in, in Bolivia, you can get a, a meal 
full meal uh, with uh, uh, meat, rice, potatoes, all those things for two, two, three dollars, and that was about. The, uh, I think the price of a of a combo of a value meal was around four or five dollars at the time they 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 arrived. So it, it was a little above of what you uh, could get elsewhere. Um, at the same time, also there were local burger chains that were uh, offering exactly that that value. I think that Bolivia Bolivians were expecting, and uh, those, those chains are still around and, uh, and, and and doing well. In the city of La Paz alone, there are upwards of 60,000 people working as street vendors. These local vendors aren't just undercutting foreign rivals on price; they are also beating the competition when it comes to the menu. Street food in Bolivia includes local specialties like saltenas and antichuchos. But that's not to say that there isn't a market for burgers in Bolivia. Instead of going to McDonald's, Bolivians would purchase them from cholitas, a name given to the indigenous women working as local street vendors. Or they could go to local Bolivian chains like Crafted Burgers or Shea Burgers in La Paz. Bolivians are proud of their food and the tradition that surrounds it. Bolivians treat food as something sacred. And a modernized quick service restaurant like McDonald's wasn't able to fully capture that localized flavor or its atmosphere. CNBC reached out to McDonald's about the company's time in Bolivia, but they did not respond to any questions. As for McDonald's in Bolivia, its failure to take off in the country had little to do with poor preparation. The company made a solid effort to allocate financial and human resources to fully understand the Bolivian market before entering. The one thing that they didn't anticipate was being rejected deeply by Bolivian culture. Politics and their love for local foods.